Hey there guys, welcome back to Artifact Studios. Today is a really quick video about Serum FX. Serum FX is really great, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, it means that now you can put Serum, the effects inside Serum, you can put them now on any single track. Whether it's your drum tracks, or your vocals, or anything, you can use those effects anywhere. And the greatest thing about it is, is that you still have the control, you can still modulate the effects with the built-in LFOs and envelopes. However, there is a trick to that, and I'm gonna explain you that today. I've got this track right here, which is just um, an audio clip inside Sampler. I added a little pitch envelope and I did some filtering, but that's not really important. It's just, it's just a simple basic Reese that sounds like this. I then added serum effects and inside there I added the hyper dimension to uh, give it some width because this is quite a monophonic bass. Um, I then added an EQ and that EQ if we uh, look at it, oh that's pretty cool, you can now actually switch to the effects by clicking on them, that's pretty cool as well. Um, now if you look at the EQ and look at LFO number one, I have this LFO right here just a simple uh, shape and that will control the uh, the EQ and you can see I have a really resonant boost if I just turn this one off for now you can see I have that boost right there and that's put before the distortion the tube distortion is bumped up all the way so we really get a very crunchy sound and that peak will in fact change the way the distortion sound just listen I mean that's after the tube distortion. Really powerful, I mean. Really gets that gritty nerve funk sound. And then I put that peak in front of it. Really kind of like emphasizes some of the parts. And I did, I've, I've done the same, but I've created a cut at a frequency just a little higher than the other one. So you can hear what that does, sounds pretty cool. But you can see there's an LFO on there. However, the LFO is not doing anything. If we look at here, if you're familiar with Serum, when you uh, trigger a note, you would see a little node move, a little ball, you know, move along that line. And that's basically your indicator where the modulation is, is at that particular given point in time. You can't really see that right now. I mean, there's nothing going on. If I go to the matrix, you can see I have three uh, modulations going on. And these indicators, those little blue things, would normally indicate where the modulation is at any point, at any given time. But if I now play this, you can, you can see they're, they're not doing anything. So how can we make that work? Well, the thing is, to make those work, you need to input some notes into Serum FX, otherwise it doesn't work. And how you do that is really simple. No, delete that track for now. First thing you're gonna do is create a new MIDI track by doing that. And what you now want to do is take an, a MIDI clip with some notes in it and put those right here on that track. So you can see I have some slightly different notes. I mean we could you can take um, the clip that you've already had, like this one, you can do that. Um, but you have to be sure that every note in here will trigger the LFOs. So if I have this part where there's a couple of other notes in there, the LFO will be re-triggered when this note starts. I might not want that, so what I did is I created this clip, which basically just has one bar notes in there so that means that every one bar the LFOs and the envelopes will be re-triggered so that's really helpful and there that way you can create really awesome modulation now what I need to do is right here on the output it says no output and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna root this into the other track and that's the 1F distorted madness so I'm gonna 
do that and then we get the track in knob right below it I'm gonna click that and I'll get two options one is the sampler I can feed some of the signal into the sampler but I don't want to do that I want to feed it into Serum FX so I'm gonna click that and now when we go back to the Serum FX track we should be able to see the elevos moving as soon as I play the sound see and suddenly my EQs are moving and I've got a filter down here that's also going to be moving but you can see how we can already make this sound much more interesting now what is going on here I've just taken that uh, first LFO and put it on the EQ so it's just modulating the frequencies and that creates that nice um, well, how do you say it? Nice, heavy, modulated, neuro-ish kind of sound. I mean, without the distortion on it, you just get that. And then with the EQ, it's sort of, sort of like emphasizing the movement. It's kind of like making the movement a little bit more pronounced. And then we have the distortion. A little bit of compression just to bring the level up. And then we get the filter, which is just a normal low pass. And on there I have LFO number 2 with this particular shape. And that's basically it. Now, just to show you, um, if I put this one on the track, it's going to sound different. Just listen. See how that sounded different from, especially this part right around here. I mean, we have this, and then we have this. See the it just sounds different depending on how you trigger the LFOs and how you trigger the envelopes, which makes sense. But that's it. Really simple, really simple trick. And I hope you liked it. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Peace.